Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I am on the latest snapshot, 17w16b, and I've been messing around with these guys in the last half hour, hour or so. Uh, of course, these are Illusion Villagers, the new mob in Minecraft, and I've come to notice a few unusual little funny things. You probably have seen these as well. Notice how these villagers are not attacking me. They probably... <laughs> I don't think they even notice I'm here, actually. I should probably refer to them as a singular, because there's only one Illager. These are all Illusions. Um, they're not attacking me. They're not following me, they're not doing anything, and not even holding a bow, and that's the uh, the weapon they hold. Not sure why. It's almost like they're uh, ninjas. You can probably, I don't know, retexture them in some way. You can probably retexture the the bow to be shurikens. <laughs> so let's uh, let's kill these guys for a moment and let's discuss what I've come across. So actually, I have a command here I've set up. Summon again. He's gonna summon his spell with the uh, the new spell tick NBT. There we go. He's going to start attacking me now. So there we go. So the spell ticks uh, NBT basically determines how long it will take in ticks for him to start uh, attacking me or becoming invisible. And that's how they clone uh, or create their illusions. They will, uh, they will become invisible and that invisibility effect, in fact, creates the clones. Kind of funny, but interesting at the same time. So now what I'm going to do is turn on, if he lets me, is turn this on. And now he's passive. So you can create passive illagers. It might be a bug, it might not be. So what I did to, in fact, create the effect is I gave him the invisibility effect and that's how he starts the clone. And um, I'm not sure what, what term is coined by the Mojangsters. Uh, and this is the command block that does this. It will replace his hand item, which is the bow, ordinarily, to an iron sword or any item I think would work. So let's let's actually do this. Let's um. Let's change this to ingot. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's running away now. <laughs> he's running away with his gold. All right, so if you take the bow out of his hands, he will have no idea how to attack you. Uh, even if I give him a diamond sword, I can assume that he will not attack you. So I think that's a, a big limitation. The first couple of things that I thought of when I first heard of the illagers being added to the game is, the first thing is I thought I could actually make him clone infinitely. In fact, you can't do that because the clones, his illusions, are not entities. They're they're probably particles. I haven't checked it yet, but they don't exist. In fact, let's uh, let's see. Particles are zero, so it looks. I don't even know what they are. They're, they're there somehow. I'm I'm wondering if there's some way to to exploit them. But he, they're all in the same block because they're not even intimidated and they're not provoked by me. So. If I, if I stand here and have the uh, the command applied that takes away his bow, he will have no idea what he's doing in this world. He, In fact, I think um, until the invisibility effect wears off, he'll just wander around aimlessly. So if there was a way to allow the villager, the illager, illusion villager, <laughs> to uh, to attack me with some, some different items, I think that'd be pretty cool. But it seems as though they are limited right now to uh, just a bow. Their place in this world is still a little... Um, uh, it's not determined yet. That's why you can only summon them with a command. Uh, and lastly, the uh, I've already mentioned this. If you want to trigger his his spell tick, all you need to do is modify this uh, this NBT. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's take this away, let's kill them, they're gone, and let's summon them. So now he will be in his in his glory, trying to kill me with a bow. That's going to create a mode. Let's uh, let's take away his effect. Okay, so I've cleared his effects. So he's now a singular again. Now I'm going to trigger his his spell. So it's gonna take it's gonna take five seconds for it to to occur. So there we go. It's five seconds are gone. He is now back. He's all cloned. But as soon as I uh, take away his bow, he's they're confused. <laughs> so just a little quirk that I found. I'm not sure if it's he, they're like synchronized walkers. Uh, I have no idea why um, that happens. Maybe they they should at least still try to pursue me. But it seems as though they just they're just lost at this point. So. Um, what do you guys think? It seems like it's a bit of a limitation to map making, but if they were able to wield different types of uh, items, I think that'd be pretty cool. You can have pet mobs as well. They should still follow you. That's one thing that I, I, I'm, I struggle to, uh, to understand. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like. Enjoy this new snapshot. Play around with these new mobs. Take care.